Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I just want to share this with you guys. I just whipped this up because over the weekend, I was out flying the uh, Spark, and one of the things that, that I had a problem when I threw this in like a backpack or something, because I wanted to keep it a little bit obscure um, in, in dragging it around, uh, what happened is the prop ends kept getting fouled in the, the netting in the backpack that it had for separating the, the, the pockets. And so I went ahead and I designed this up. In other words, this 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 uh, makes the end of the propellers captive. And uh, it does take a little bit of two hands. I'm going to have to pull this down because it does flex and it does pop off, as you can see. And so not much to it, and it is fairly flexible. I 3D printed this, and what it does is slips over the, the props, and then uh, you kind of do fold these in like this. And the same thing happens here. If you don't pop out the other ones, it takes a little bit of finessing and, and planning and timing and all this stuff. I'm going to turn this around. And then what happens is this flexes back like this and then boom, it's in. And then it moves a little bit on here, which is good because it'll, it'll adjust for different prop sizes and everything. But it won't come off until you pop it off. And again, I've put stress release on the bottom. So... Uh, you know, now you can kind of throw this in a backpack or something. One of the things I am going to do is make up a gimbal guard here. This is going to be a future project, very near future project. But you can toss this in a backpack or something where your netting uh, isn't going to uh, grab the props. So the props aren't going to grab the netting. I also had a problem with this on the foam backing of my um, one of my metal cases I was carrying this in too. Uh, out, out to the field so I really like this now one of the things you might be saying Joe what if I don't have a 3d printer what am I gonna do well I really don't have time to really produce this stuff in volume but I'll have up there a link um, somebody on Amazon has something similar to this I don't know if they're 3d printing them or what um, but similar design I mean how much different can you get and so it's seven or eight bucks so if you're looking for something like this I highly recommend this I've put this out on Thingiverse I'll have the link down below so if you got a 3d printer I also put some links below to some smaller or easier to use 3d printers I've set up a page on the video drone website of several printers which I use or I recommend uh, that will work well for an RC hobbyist so if, if you are in the RC hobby and you are you know looking to stay in it for a while and, and come up with some things of your own or to develop things you know for example like I created this and put it out on Thingiverse so you can go ahead and print it out um, you know that's where a 3d printer is great so even if you don't you know uh, uh, plan on doing your own designs for something like this. There's a lot of other people and also I'll have out there I'm now curating a page on the video drone website that lists all the, um, the 3d printable stuff out on Thingiverse and I'll probably go to a couple other different sites too But uh, I'm setting up a couple curated lists on the video drone site for the spark So if you're interested in that, I'll have the links below check back on a regular basis because again they're curated pages so that means as i find things i add them so they're updated on a fairly regular basis so anyways hopefully you found this interesting you found this cool uh and if you did hey give it a thumbs up i put a lot of work into developing this and uh, hit the subscribe button over there comments below what you have for lunch maybe what you're gonna have for lunch and we'll see you in the next video cheers folks